Bees are everywhere, all but unnoticed as they fly from flower to flower. They've existed much longer than man, but over the last 8,000 years, man and bee have become partners. In 2006, reports came out of America that millions of bees had disappeared from their hives. It sounds like a science fiction horror film, but it's not. Since the mid-1990s, beekeepers have been reporting extraordinary losses. Everywhere in the industrialized world, bees are dying. Das ist schon eine Katastrophe. And beekeepers don't know what to do. Scientists from many disciplines have mobilized to confront this global problem. In the last four years, what have they learned? Can science provide an explanation, a cure, or a solution? Bees act as links between different plant groups. They drink from the heart of nature. Are their deaths a warning that something has gone wrong in our relationship to nature? Is it too late to save this tiny creature from extinction? Why should we care? Each year, beekeepers everywhere perform the same spring ritual. On a sunny day, they open their hives to see how their bees survived the rigors of winter. Over the last four years, this ritual has become a nightmare. In Europe and the Americas, beekeepers find losses of 30 to 80 percent. And no one knows why. It's more than just my income. It's. Uh... These are my girls, my bees, so I hate to see, you know, I feel like I let them down some because, uh, you know, uh, obviously we didn't do things right here possibly. We could have done more for them, to save them, so it's, uh, yeah, it's sad for sure. But we have to move on and do the best we can, so. Like thousands of other beekeepers, Ben Hogan will have no honey harvest this summer. One left. But it's not the loss of honey that has scientists like Bernard Vessier at the French National Institute for Agricultural Research devoting countless hours to studying bees. Bees are fundamental to the human food chain. Most of our food crops are pollinated by bees, and that includes almost every fruit, vegetable, oil and nut. L'importance des abeilles dans le service de pollinisation a été très longtemps ignorée. Donc tout d'un coup, on découvre que les pollinisateurs sont extrêmement importants pour la production euh, d'une partie importante de notre alimentation. Il y a 30%, un tiers entonnage de notre alimentation qui dépend de l'activité pollinisatrice des abeilles principalement. Donc c'est quand même considérable. Euh, et ça, jusqu'à présent, on l'a toujours pris pour argent comptant, euh, comme le, le soleil ou, ou l'air. No animal has a more intimate relation with plants than the bee. Chaque fleuron est une fleur. On a les fleurons qui se sont ouverts aujourd'hui, qui sont au stade mâle et qui libèrent leur pollen. On a les fleurs au stade femelle, donc ces deux langues qui s'ouvrent et C'est là que doit être déposé le pollen pour avoir germination et fécondation. Seeking nectar at the heart of the flower, 